there's a lot of different reasons why you would choose renovation or new construction, and some of them are completely out of your control. So in some cases, a building is historic or might have historic characteristics, or the city might just deem it some, something of value, and so you can't tear it down and start fresh. You have to renovate, and often there's incentives to renovate, actually, in those cases. Other cases are not as straightforward, and so I think, you know, on the front end, we work really closely with our clients to try and figure out what the best strategy is. Is it financial? You know, what's the return on investment for renovating versus new construction? And that takes lots of things, not just sort of the construction costs, but also all of the costs associated with moving people in and out. You know, what's the, the loss in productivity for their workers if it's an office building, or what's the loss in revenue if it's something like retail or hospitality? Other things like just technical feasibility, you know, Older buildings weren't built to today's codes, and so when you start to renovate, what new codes kind of kick in? And same thing with ADA and sustainability standards have all sort of evolved over the last 50 years. In building renovation, I think what's interesting is that you sort of have this combination of you know, the existing infrastructure and finding out lots of things along the way, so you have to be sort of agile in that respect and not be tied to a singular solution, but be tied to an idea and understand that there's sort of multiple ways to solve it. It's a challenge in that respect, but, it's, but I think it's also something that's really interesting, and it's, those constraints sort of force you to be super creative when you're trying to come up with solutions, and it also forces the issue that the, the actual solution is really unique to this the situation you're working in. So the building itself di dictates the solution, and it's going to be unlike anything else that's out there because it's sort of a combination of an existing infrastructure, new program, new design thinking, new codes. And so those things kind of all are tied together in a way. It's challenging existing building renovation because you are working with lots of constraints. And in architecture, sometimes that's seen as sort of a negative, but I think it's a really interesting way to come up with solutions and forces the creativity aspect.